is my final day hiking. I am heading into Amicalola Falls. I'm about two and a half to three and a half hours away. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get down there. Um, I am super excited. My girls are two hours away from the um, assigned meeting point and <coughs> excuse me and I am ready to be there and see them. So I don't know how much I'll bring you out along the way but um, right now I'm just about packed up. I've got to take down my tent yet and then pack my backpack. Uh, but I've got a tiny bit of water left. I may have to stop on the way down. Um, I dry camped last night and there's not much water until I get to the falls. So I will uh, check back with you later. And uh, again, I just thank you for all your support and wish that you come along with me for last day's journey. I just cannot get enough of that sky this morning. It is stunning. Brings me to the old saying though, red skies at night, sailors get light. Red skies at morning, sailors take warning. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous sky. And it was really red earlier. Now it's more of a pinkish purple, but beautiful. As I'm heading down the approach trail, I'm really thinking about a lot of things. <laughs> the thoughts are like tumult tumultuous or tumbling around in my head. And it's like thinking about what I have to do when I get home, all the things that have piled up over the last six months. The people I want to see, the I need to get a vehicle because I sold my car. Uh, just all the things. The hugging of my grandkids and my children and their spouses and my hubby, uh, my mom and dad, my sisters, just all the things. My nieces, my nephews, oh my goodness. My friends. <laughs> I just cannot wait. I'm not sad that the journey's over. Um, I'm not hating the trail. I still love hiking and backpacking. It's just time for a, a break from it for a little bit. Um, I'm anxious to, to begin my, ouch, my business, which will include some backpacking and there'll be more on that later that I put out here on this channel. And I'll um, likely be requesting some help from some of you to, um, for some recommendations. So I'll, I'll let you know more on that in the future. It was another one of my reasons for hiking that I didn't list, but I plan on listing when I'm ready to. So. Okay, I'm gonna walk before I break an ankle on my last four miles into the state park. So here we go. I have just come down that way. That is the approach trail. We're going to continue down this way to Amicalola Falls, the actual falls. And because I was a dry camp last night, I am really thirsty. So I'm going to do one last water collect right here and get some water down me before I meet my fam. Visitor center, that's where we're heading. Oh, green blaze now. I've been thinking about the southbounders or northbounders when they're starting their journey you know they're just they're fresh if they've come from here they are 
exhausted from climbing the stairs <laughs> at the waterfall. They are full of anticipation, excitement, uncertainty, a little bit of dread. <laughs> um, and I'm just really, really honored to be coming in the opposite direction and having a little bit of all of those same feelings at the end, but not about starting the trail, about starting life as we knew it. All right, enough on that. This is the upper parking lot of the falls. That's more appropriate. A church van. Love it. This is what I spy. I may need to use the restroom. So. We'll check it out. And if I can get the pop machine to work, I'm getting one of those too. <laughs> I've reached the top of the falls overlook. Aww. A memory card here. Wow. We will be following that all the way down. You can see, I don't know if you can actually, the stairway is way down there, so we'll be crossing the waterfall at some point down there. And somewhere down there, my babies are waiting for me. This is where we're heading, base of the falls. I will not keep you on here this whole time because there's like 600 stairs. Just a little pretty color left here. There we go. Then I looked, and there before me was the Lamb, standing on Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a sound from heaven like the roar of rushing waters, and like a loud peal of thunder. The sound I heard was like that of harpists playing their harps. And they sang a new song before the throne, and before the four living creatures and the elders. Revelation 14, 1 through 3. That's up there where we just came down from. Is incredible. I've never seen anything like that. Oh my goodness. Huh. And we continue down 175 more stairs. Now I'll continue down the path to the visitor center.
see the visitor center. I don't know if my girls are going to be there yet. I'm a little early. Maybe I should drink some water. Maybe I should just deal with it. <laughs> Get down there. They're doing some leaf blowing right now, so it's a little noisy, but I can see the roof of the new visitor center. Looks enormous. We'll check that out too. I believe this is the very first shelter that's on the trail. We're gonna go check it out real quick here. It's not the AT, but you know what I mean. Tent camping only on the platform. Oh, it's actually screened in. Interesting. So there you go. Your first and last shelter on the AT. Depends on which way you're going. Okay, say bye-bye. Bye-bye, trail. There you go. <gasps> I see. <laughs> be careful, baby. Don't fall. Be careful. Be careful. Hi. Come see me. Oh. <laughs> hey, there's my girls. <laughs> Can you say hi to the hammer bird? Jaybird. And this is the new visitor center. It is beautiful. Pretty cool. And I'm saying farewell to the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> Together. <laughs> Together.